So you're a Nets fan and what, a Yankee yeah, fan? Well, obviously. Look at his jacket. Yeah, look at that. Sakes. Man. My, my prized possession. I yeah. see that. Hey, uh, oh, when, that. when's your first day? When are you actually going to be on the air? Is it today? Next Monday. Next Monday. Okay. All right, or this good. coming Monday. Yeah, I, I feel like Sal Licata wanted you to be on the air yesterday because he started at 11.39 and did five and a half <laughs> hours overnight. <laughs> He no. needed you yesterday. Yeah, no, I was home. Uh, still <laughs> still coming off the honeymoon, still coming off my friend Dan's wedding, uh, but ready to rock, ready to work, and and so glad to be here and, and so thankful to uh, get this opportunity and to meet everybody and be yeah. a part of this family. It's it's awesome. So where, where did you grow up? I grew up in Monmouth County, down the shore. I'm a beach boy. I went to Ocean High School. Okay. Um, I went to Monmouth University as well. Oh, yeah, I was just Al, saying Al. Al. I'm like, Al. Al actually met me in the fan cave. He doesn't remember 2014, but I, I've been following him since then. And I'm like, oh, Bradley Beach. Like, we're, I grew up in that area going to that beach. And I was saying to him, you know, that's where we were going before Asbury Park came back and before Pier Village and Long Branch really started to pop off. So, yeah, that's me. Uh, exit 105-732. So you're, you're a big Nets fan. Is Evan Roberts your leader? Is he the guy that you look to? Our fearless leader. He's yeah. taking a lot of bullets for us. And yeah. uh, he holds it down. And I had him on my podcast talking Nets because I said, you're our only voice yeah you're the only guy in new york that defends us or at least speaks to us or what like, is there to defend oh here we go <laughs> what is there to defend this i don't get it, it i mean you no. have the like, nets world you have to defend the nets I, world us, you got two of the greatest basketball players on god's green earth right now they chose to be in the nets sure world. they did and they get paid a lot of money to be in the nets world <laughs> yeah so i i used to say because there was a lot of uh dweeb net fans around here you were not a dweeb net fan but there was a lot of dweeb net fans around you See, look, see a picture right there? I said Evan Roberts is the Pied Piper of the Dweeb <laughs> Net fan. Do you see right there with all the Brooklyn jerseys? Well, why they got to be dweebs? Because they root for the Nets. <laughs> Come on, man. But, Welcome to WFA. And that's what we got to change. We got to change right. the perception of you're, the well, Nets Well, you're not fans. helping that perception because you're like the opposite of a dweeb. So now we're going to have to change that whole thing uh, in that picture. But that's one of my favorite things. Yeah, in the that world one there. we'll have to Photoshop. I'm sure Tom can cook up something different <laughs> well, with Keith, the Brooklyn jerseys. That's yeah. Great. yeah. <laughs> yep. You can take that. Perfect. Yeah. You can okay. take that.